大家好，这里是全媒体美国台，我是娜姐。古有花木兰代父从军呐、啊，今天呢是由伊万卡带他父亲啊打竞选选战。呃，之前大大家知道，川普突然得了这个呃武汉肺炎哈，那么当时医生就说你。啊，两个星期必须隔离，不能出去啊！这个见选民，所以呢，但是你想，川普这个性格哪能等啊？这个竞选到了这么关键的时刻，哪能等啊？所以就派出他的子女，他的大儿子、二儿子、女儿啊，全部都上阵呐、啊，独立的去帮川普总统啊，去啊这个竞选，哎，代父上阵哈。这种事儿呢，在美国其实过去的几十年还是很少见的。哈，主要原因是什么呢？就是其他的总统，就像克林顿啦、啊、小布什啊、这个奥巴马，他们当总统的时候呢，他们都没有成年的子女。但是川普这儿就不一样了，川普是他们家人丁兴旺，这个人才辈出啊，个个都是非常的能干的。那么他大儿子、二儿子、这个女儿。啊，全部都上阵，媳妇儿也上阵，对呀、啊。本周的星期三呢，伊万卡是来到了呃我们这个西南佛州，啊，他上午呢是去出席这个筹款的活动，啊，据说这个门票是十万美金起，十万块你才是啊这个能进了这个门，对呀、啊。凡是愿意去参加这个活动的，他们就不只是捐这个十万块了哈。那么这个。据说是筹到了很多钱啊，上千万的这样子哈，啊，这个面子可真够大哈。那么他下午呢，就是来啊、呃、参加，就是这个一个 rally， 就是竞选的拉力吧，我们讲哈。那么我和我的朋友 Vicky 呢，还有这个啊、呃、李梅李梅女士啊，经常上我节目的李梅女士呢，我们几个是约好了，我们要去参加。那这个活动呢，是一点钟才开始，下午一点。那我们是上午十点就到了，到了之后呢是要通过安检，他这个安检很这个严格，就是基本上是你什么都不能拿啊，就是你只有钥匙啊、钱包啊、眼镜啊和这个手机这几样就是很贴身的，你必须需要的这个你可以拿啊，其他的全都不让你拿。啊，就是你，你要想进去，我都回去了三趟，所有东西连旗子都不让拿，全部又送回到车里面去。嗯，那么安检非常的严格，然后进去里面呢，像一婚礼的现场一样，都是白色的椅子摆着，哈，那么很那个很浪漫，因为这个地方啊，它的停车位也不是很多，所以是。呃，能进来的人估计也就是上千人，但是上千人那也了不得呀。奥巴马去搞这个 rally 就来了四十多个人，是吧？这奥巴马才四十七个人，拜登连四十七个人都没有啊，就是十个二十个的。那人家这个伊万卡这一来就是几千人啊，这个也是非常的了不起了。那么提前好几个小时进去之后呢，那你肯定要等嘛。但是呢，大家都很高兴，然后就互相聊天呐、啊，然后找人照相啊。然后我们还碰到一个，他说他是这个 musician， 就是一个音乐家，他自己搞的这个支持川普的歌啊，给我们听啊，放啊。Are you looking at the? Show? No. You want me to put the video on? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's it there. 
那么还有就是，反正坐的附近的人，你是一打招呼，大家就给聊起来了，聊起来就聊着没完。嗯，还有跟这个 sheriff 照相啊，跟本地的一些有头有脸的人物照相啊之类的。活动呢，一点钟就开始了啊！这唱国歌呀，呃，这个呃，其他的人出来演讲啊之类哈。那么这个伊万卡呢，是一点将近一点半才出来演讲，哇，这个一出场简直是，哇，太美了，太美了，个子好高啊！然后真的是全场惊艳，就那种虽然我们就是无数次的看到伊万卡的照片哈，和他在这个电视上呃呃这个出现哈，但是他上来还是令人惊艳呐、啊，真的是女神级的啊。那我在这个节目的后面，也就是伊万卡演讲之后呢，我是放了很多伊万卡的美照，就是很漂亮的一塌糊涂。啊，真的是女神，真的是光彩照人呐、啊！啊，所以大家一定要看到最后哈。嗯，那好的。Starts at the top, and with our president, I am able to do my job. And law enforcement all over the world do their job with our president because we have law and order. Yes. So, like everyone else you hear here today, I want you to understand something. My fellow sheriffs around the state, 67 of them, we got out in Tampa. We endorsed our president because it's clear there really is only one choice. Okay, it's very, very clear. We all know that. So I want to take a moment today and say thank you to our president. Thank you to all the supporters here because the reason we live in a very secure law and order society here today is because of our president and the support that we get from the top. Let's make certain that we all get out there, we all vote. Because we're going to keep America great. That's right. We're going to keep our president in place, and we're going to be the winning team on November third. So God bless America. Are we sending Nancy Pelosi back to the hair salon in San Francisco? Are we going to keep our Senate? Well, let me tell you something. There's a lot of these really left-wing analysts who are saying that the race is over, and we've got news for them. It's fake news, people. Fake news. I gotta tell you, the energy, the momentum across this country in support of President Trump is unprecedented, and it's. Because of people like you, free-loving patriots who are working hard every single day 
to ensure that America stays free and that America never becomes a socialist nation. We stand for freedom. We stand for opportunity. We stand for prosperity. And President Trump stands for the American people. But I gotta ask you something. Make sure you kneel down before God and stand for our flag. We are in the final stretch. And while the president's traveling across the country, and wait, wait, let me check Joe Biden's schedule. Oh wait, he might have called a press lid again. And he's in the basement, that's right. And while the vice president's traveling across the country and the beautiful first family is traveling across the country. They are sharing the, this message of hope, of optimism for America that America will remain great, that we will remain free and strong. Yeah. And there is two words, two words that describe President Trump. Strength and courage. Yeah. And let me tell you something. His daughter, Ivanka Trump, let's talk about strength and courage and grace. I had the great opportunity to work with Ivanka for two years in the White House before going to the campaign. Ivanka works so hard every day for the American people. She is such a strong woman, a woman of deep faith, a courageous woman, a woman who sacrifices every day every day for this country. So let's warmly welcome Ivanka Trump. Please welcome to the stage Ivanka Trump. a builder, an entrepreneur, an outsider, a proud champion of America to fight for the forgotten men and women of this country, and that is exactly what he's done. 13 days from now, with your help, we're going to once again win Florida, and we're gonna win four more years for the people's president, my father, Donald J. Trump. I don't think I have to tell this group, but early voting is happening now, so vote, vote, vote. Before my father ran for office, politics was really not my life. Like many of you, I was a busy working mom, three little children. When I came to Washington, I quickly learned why the political establishment tried so hard to keep my father out of office. In the swamp, it's easy for politicians to survive if they silence their convictions and skip the hard fights. I was shocked to see people leave major challenges unsolved so they could blame the other side and campaign on the very same issue in the next election. But Donald Trump did not come to Washington to win the praise of the Beltway elite. Donald Trump came to Washington for one reason and one reason alone, to make America great again.
long time. We have a president who's called out Washington's hypocrisy, and they hate him for it. Oh, yeah. My father has strong convictions. He knows what he believes, and he says what he thinks. Yeah. <laughs> really not a normal concept in Washington, D.C. Whether you agree with him or not, you always know where he stands. I recognize that my father's communication style is not to everyone's taste, and his tweets can feel a bit unfiltered. We love him! See, but some people love him, right? This crowd loves him. But you know what you like more than the tweets? You like the fact that when my father makes a promise, he keeps it. In less than four years, President Trump has rebuilt the United States military, secured America's borders, defeated the ISIS caliphate, fostered peace in the Middle East, and regulatory cuts, fixed our broken trade deals, and brought jobs back to America and back to Florida. <laughs> President Trump has done more for Florida in 47 months than Joe Biden did in 47 years. <laughs> People fight the hardest for what they love the most. And my dad loves you. He loves this country. He will never stop fighting for you, for your jobs, for your families and your communities, and for your future. Beautiful. President Trump built the greatest economy in American history, and now he is leading the greatest American comeback. Yeah. We have added a historic 11.4 million jobs in the last five months. Through the Paycheck Protection Program, an amazing program which really helped save America's small businesses, we've saved over 3.2 million jobs here in the Sunshine State. <laughs> to confront the virus, our president brought together government and the private sector for the largest industrial mobilization since World War II. Thanks to America's medical genius, the mortality rate has declined by 85% since <laughs> Later, he's bouncing around the country with more energy than most of us have in our whole bodies. The president's early and aggressive action to stop travel from Europe saved up to two million lives compared to scientists' best um, estimates at the time. Extraordinary. I was there. I heard all these estimates firsthand. It was extraordinary. Through Operation Warp Speed, we are on track to deliver a safe and effective vaccine before the end of the year. We have built up supplies, testing, and treatments, and we are protecting the most vulnerable while healthy Americans go back to work and back to school. mother of three young children myself, I know I speak for a lot of parents here right now when I say that my appreciation for our nation's teachers is at an all-time high. So Joe Biden has said he would shut down our entire country. Endless lockdowns are not a strategy. No, 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 no. The Republican Party is the party of safe 
reopening. Yeah. Yeah. Time and time again, I've seen my father's relentless determination to deliver for you, the American people. One of the issues that was central to his campaign in 2016 was fair and reciprocal trade. When President Trump got to Washington, many politicians, including Republicans, resisted any change. I'll never forget that one day after a long trade policy meeting and I was walking back with him to the residence and he just, he looked at me and he said, you know, the reason this has never been done before is because our leaders have not had the guts. That's right. That's right. The economy is good, they settle for good, and when it's bad, they don't have the will or ability, so they kick the can until it's somebody else's problem. That's right. He was right. If he didn't take on these fights, no one would. In the months that followed, President Trump refused to settle for a good deal. He wanted a great deal. And that's exactly what we got. Biden likes to plagiarize our president's Made in America agenda. But he supported every disastrous trade deal that shipped good paying jobs and factories overseas. China's entry into the WTO, one example. NAFTA, job killing NAFTA, another example. TPP. When Joe Biden was vice president, America lost 200,000 manufacturing jobs. Wow. In the first three years of the Trump administration, America gained 500,000 manufacturing jobs. demanding the support of America's no. workers. He should be begging for their forgiveness. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. President Trump is also advancing the American values of work and family. I've worked alongside my father as we secured the largest ever increase for childcare funding, giving more than 800,000 low-income families great childcare at a cost they can afford. Yeah. As part of Republican tax cuts, in 2019 alone, 40 million American families benefited from the child tax credit. 40 million American families, an average of $2,200 a family. Thank you! recently introduced a plan to increase the child tax credit. Yet when I was fighting less than three years ago at the president's direction to get Congress to double the child tax credit, not a single Democrat voted to pass the law. We got it done anyway, folks. Joe Biden has been a School Choice is giving more than 400,000 Florida students a future of hope. It has changed the lives of students like Denisha Merriweather from Jacksonville, Florida. Denisha is right here with us. schools. She repeated the third grade twice. Then she received a school choice scholarship. She attended a Christian school that lives by their motto, which is where learning is a joy, excellence is the norm, and superiority is the goal. And Denisha rose to that challenge. Yeah! Denisha became the first person in her family to earn a high school diploma. Yes. She graduated from the University of West Florida and is now completing her master's in social work. Yeah. Yeah. In 2017, Denisha was my father's guest at the joint session, a 
address to Congress, and we're so excited to have you back here, Denisha. <laughs> We as a society have a duty to ensure that every child has the very best chance to pursue their dreams, find their purpose, lift their communities, and change the world. Yeah. Yeah. Joe Biden opposes school choice and has pledged that if he is elected, charter schools will be, and I quote, gone. Yeah. President Trump, on the other hand, he will sign the most significant school choice legislation in history in term two. Yeah. While Democrats are focused on making Americans dependent on Washington, we are focused on liberating each individual and freeing them to thrive. Yeah. Yeah. communities, we created nearly 9,000 opportunity zones, 400 of which are right here in Florida. Wow. President Trump rectified the disparities of the 1994 Biden crime bill that disproportionately hurt African Americans. Against all odds, he signed into law the most significant criminal justice reform of a generation. My brothers and I like to joke that our father has kept more promises than he made, and that's true, folks. Yeah. He didn't campaign on criminal justice reform. He did it anyway because it was the right thing to do. Yeah. Many of the issues my father has championed are not historically Republican priorities. Trade, right? What he's done with those trade deals is a great example. Brought the party along and now everyone agrees. But where Washington chooses sides, our president chooses common sense. Yeah. Where politicians choose party, our president chooses people. Yeah. Office, I've watched my father take on the failed policies of the past and do what no leader has done before. Yes. As one example, Joe Biden has been one of the biggest champions of Big Pharma for decades, allowing them to rip off millions of American patients. Lock him up! My father is not beholden to anyone, but you, the American people. Yeah. Woo! the cost of prescription drugs despite fielding very angry calls from the CEOs of every major pharmaceutical company. I was there. Yay! And a lot of lawmakers, by the way. Now, when we see an attack ad for Big Pharma, my dad looks at me and he smiles and says, you know we're doing something really right if they're hitting us that hard. Yay! Americans first, he will always protect Social yeah. Security, he will always yeah. protect Medicare, and he will always protect patients with pre-existing conditions. Yeah. Yeah. Just last week, the President came here to Fort Myers to reaffirm his solemn pledge to protect America's seniors. family farms into the hands of those in need. <laughs> to protect the most vulnerable among us, I have had the honor of working alongside our president as he signed into law nine pieces of legislation to combat the evil of human trafficking yeah. and online child <laughs> Tampa, law enforcement
harassment, arrested six human traffickers, and freed five women from modern slavery. unfulfilled by many past yeah. presidents because he knew it was the right thing to do. Yeah. Defying all expectations, just last month, we rewrote history again by making two peace agreements in the Middle East. The biggest breakthrough in a quarter of a century. President Trump has worked to achieve peace in the Middle East so that the United States can finally end the endless foreign wars. Yeah. I agree. Thousands of American men and women have made the supreme sacrifice in the war on terror. Among those was the brave, young American, Daniel Eggers. He grew up not far from here in Cape Coral, Florida. He has followed in his father's footsteps, joined the military, and became an Army Green Beret, a true hero. In 2004, on a second deployment to Afghanistan, Daniel gave his life while, while protecting us against these horrible terrorists. This afternoon, we are profoundly honored to be joined by Daniel's family. His parents, Bill and Margo, are here with us. that took out the world's top terrorist. He is advancing peace through strength, and our soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines are coming home. The legendary Winston Churchill once said, it was the nation that had a lion's heart. I gave it the roar. Yeah. How much does that remind you of our president and this movement? Yeah. Has he not given all of us the roar? Yeah. Here in America, at this critical hour, we the people choose Donald Trump. Yeah. children. I'm more certain than ever before we want a future where our kids believe in American greatness. We want a society where every child can live in a safe community and go to a school of their choice. We want a culture where differences of opinion and debate are encouraged, not canceled. Where law enforcement is respected. Where our country's rich diversity is celebrated and where people of all, of all backgrounds, races, genders, and creeds have the chance to achieve 
their God-given potential. This is the future my father is working to build. Yeah! 